Hi guys, welcome to this video and what I wanted to show you guys today was something that I made a long long time ago which is this thing here, sorry if the noise is quite loud and I made it for infinity but I wanted to show you how it's perfect for uh, Shadespire Right then, here we go So I used to make these as part of Cut It Custom which was the company I made uh, uh, and um, I used to make Cut It Custom cut it Cut, custom cut stencils, I'll get my words out eventually and I also used to make uh, these little boxes so they were basically for cards and, and other things and I custom cut these uh, vinyl bits here, stuck them on it's made of styrene so it's uh, it's really durable, you can really bend it and it won't uh, it won't break I've had these for a few years, they've been, as you can see, been lying around in boxes, they're quite dirty uh, I've got this one here which fits a hole in the bottom there for my finger, which fits the uh, the shades by cards. But what it doesn't fit is the sleeved ones. So uh, I'm going to have to redesign another box, potentially make another one. There's quite a lot of space in there. But what I wanted to show you guys today is this. So this was made for the Infinity tokens when I was playing Infinity the game. Um, there used to be a logo on the top there, which I've uh, picked off. And it actually stores the dice as well quite nicely in these bits here. So if you pull out these dice, I've got access to the uh, tokens. Here are the activation tokens for Shadespire. Uh, you've got easy access to glory. Um, some glory on that side as well. Some more there, just in case you're uh, scoring all the objectives in the world. You've got some wound tokens there. So it's all really, really accessible, which is uh, one of the things this was designed for. Uh, these bits here, these dividers, they move. As you can see there, um, and the, the whole point of that is that they can be used in different configurations and things um, and also allow somewhere for you to pick the tokens up. So the whole point of this gap here is so I can get my finger in and pick out a, a token easily. If I was to have wall-to-wall -wall tokens in there, there's just there's no way I'd be able to grip them. <laughs> uh, we've got the on guard tokens there and then finally the movements and charging tokens there. So I am really chuffed with this. I was really surprised I managed to uh, to find it and uh, when I did find it I was really surprised to see that the uh, these tokens fit in so well. I mean look at that there, look at the uh, level of clearance there. It's probably about a millimeter of clearance. Uh, there's a bit more freedom on these ones here. Um, but yeah, really really chuffed with that. And the fact that it fits the dice in there as well is an absolute godsend. So I just wanted to share that, that with you guys. Uh, really chuffed with it. Uh, yeah, just couldn't help myself. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos for the past few days, week, I'm not sure. Um, I've been a little bit under the weather. I've had extreme man flu, um, which as we all know is, uh, is enough to stop anybody from producing videos. Uh, my chest has been playing up something rotten, my... Uh, I've been coughing my guts up and uh, migraines have been playing up as well which hasn't been fantastic so I've been a little bit under the weather and so um, unfortunately this is something which I had to give in the grand scheme of things but hopefully I can get back again and I'm starting off with this simple video to uh, to show you guys uh, of course I do have a copy of uh, Infin Infinity of Shadespire now uh, which I'm going to be making some content on soon uh, I've painted up the miniatures already, <clears throat> got them done. They're not to a great standard, but they're to enough of a standard for me to play with them. Um, of course, I'm waiting for the Skaven to come out, so uh, I don't really care about the Stormcast or Corn. They're literally there as a method for me to learn how to play the game and to get some fun in the meantime. I'm really enjoying the game. I might do a follow-up to the Shadespy video I did, basically explaining all the bits where I went wrong. I had somebody complain on that video, so... Uh, it's only fair that I go back and update my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, hopefully, might be able to get some videos in of uh, playing the game as well. Just need to get uh, achievements out of the way. Out of the way. <laughs> like it's something I've got to do. Um, and on that note, I'm going to be doing some videos for uh, achievements. Uh, I've been doing a lot of progress on the old rats. And uh, yeah, I've been playing some games with them as well. And I'm really enjoying it, so... I'm going to uh, finish them off, do some more videos on the progress and where I need to go. I've done some funky things to help me play the game as well. So uh, expect videos on that soon. So I've got some Skaven videos, Road to Achievements, and some Shadespire to look forward to. Um, and I'm sure not too far down the, down the line we'll have some 40k in there as well. You never know. <laughs> right, keep up with me in between videos over here. 
Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.